Today I'm going to be sharing some practical and useful ways to use a Dollar Tree shirt and shirt and cower ring. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some useful youthful. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some practical and useful ways to use the shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree. Let's do this. Okay, so these are the shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree. You get a pack of like 12 or something. And so these are some of my favorite ways to use them to organize around my house. First of all, I keep a set of these on my oven door and I use this to hold my dish towels because I have a two year old who is obsessed with pulling dish towels off of the oven door. And I just want dish towels that will hang out so I can dry my hands. I don't necessarily need dish towels that I can constantly take off and put back. So these keep them tidy and they keep them secure right on my oven door. Okay, next up you can cover these in twine. I'm just taking some Dollar Tree twine and I'm going to wrap it all the way around a single shower curtain ring and then tie it off on either end. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And this works really great as a napkin ring. Um, you could hot glue like a pretty flower or something else onto it, but you can use it just alone. And if you wanna get really fancy, here's my two favorite ways to fold up my fabric napkins. One is to fold it into quarters and then you're gonna roll in from one side and roll into the other side. And you kind of end up with like this cute little, I don't know, like double, double roll thing. Another option is to fold it accordion style and then fold that in half and secure the folded end with the napkin ring and you sort of create this like pretty fan shape. I just think this is like such a little thing to make a tablescape look so much prettier. Okay, another option for using those twine covered shower curtain rings is to then get a thicker piece of twine and you're gonna tie it off to one end and then I'm just fraying either end of it to kind of create like a tasseled look. And then this works as a really cute and super affordable curtain pullback. Okay, next hack is if you have some garland that you wanna hang up along like a curtain area or whatever, we have two windowsills that I always do drapery on for Christmas. Shower rings are the perfect way to hang these up, no hassle. I've tried to use command strips in the past, which work, but this is so much easier and faster. So I'm just using the shower curtains to sort of uh, place this how I want. I'm just sort of like adjusting it until I get this right. One of my garlands has orange slices in it from last Christmas. And then for some of the shower curtain rings that are still exposed, you can see with this particular gar garland that I have, you can still see some of the shower curtain rings. I would just use other uh, decorations to fill this in. Obviously I'm not decorating for Christmas just yet. That's a little bit aggressive. But when I do, I would put some ornaments here, some string lights or whatever to help cover them up. And when you go to put your garland away, don't get rid of the shower curtain rings because this works perfectly to hold all your garland in place. I put three around each strand of garland. It acts as a perfect way to keep my garland bundled when I'm storing it in the basement break to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, which is June's Journey. Now, just like I like finding creative and interesting ways to use everyday objects from the Dollar Tree, June's Journey is kind of like that because you're supposed to find hidden objects inside of a beautiful, colorful, carefully created scene. I like playing the game because it's not just hidden objects game, it's a murder mystery. So as you go through the scene finding hidden objects, they're actually all clues that you use to help June solve the murder of her sister and brother-in-law. I just think it's a really fun way to relax after the end of a long day. I love looking through the different scenes and finding the different things and trying to beat the clock to find them as quickly as I can. You can download June's Journey from the link in the description box down below or you can scan the QR our code right here. It is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, or you can play it on your PC through Facebook games. Okay, next up using a tension rod, you can use shower curtain rings for all sorts of things. So I have this smaller shower in our downstairs bathroom and I added a tension rod and then using shower curtain rings, I can use this just for extra storage. So I can clip on like loofahs, I can clip on sponges or exfoliating things or whatever. And it just makes use of some extra storage space in a small area. And you can use tension rods other places like in closets, pantries. I have it here storing a bunch of my kids' cleaning supplies. You could use it obviously for real cleaning supplies. If you had a cleaning closet, you could use it for extra bags. You could use it for purses, whatever. It's just such a great space saving storage solution. And another option is actually to put them right onto a hanger. And then you can use this to put like scarves or t-shirts. I have it here with burp cloths because listen, I'm a mom of a five month old right now. My life 
is surrounded by burp cloths. Um, but you can see it saves a lot of space if you're going to store these things into a closet. You could do it with bags, you could do it with belts, you could do it with necklaces and accessories, you could do it with scarves. Another DIY ha I have here doing the same thing with a hanger. I actually got one of the mesh laundry bags from the Dollar Tree and then I clipped this onto a hanger using the shower curtain rings. And now you've created like a little bag that you can hang into your closet. You can use this for storing of extra things or you can also use it literally as like a laundry bag so you have somewhere to throw um, your delicates or your socks. So then you can just unclip this laundry bag and wash them all at once. Okay, my final hack is using a hula hoop and then I'm going to add an entire pack of the shower curtain rings to the hula hoop and then I'm going to attach a curtain. You can use a shower curtain. I just happen to have this spare curtain left over because I had accidentally bought a two pack and I only needed one. And then you're using this to create sort of like a little canopy. I was doing mine sort of as a temporary situation for a fun movie night that I was doing with my kids. If you wanted this to be more permanent, I would probably spray paint the hula hoop gold or black or something but you're just going to spread the shower curtain rings all the way around and then I just use some rope to hang this from the ceiling in my kids playroom and like I said we use this for a fun little movie night so I put my kids um, chairs in there you could put some comfy pillows or some books or whatever you could do this as a permanent installation like in a bed or in the corner of a playroom or you could do it as just something temporary like I did for a fun movie night or a sleepover or a birthday party as always thank you so much for stopping by and watching I hope you're having a fantastic day remember to be kind to your and to others and I will see you all in my next video.